Hey guys, another black and white battle here, and uh, you know, got the same routine as usual on facing Ryan Kelly. Uh, yeah, you, this was a very epic battle, in my opinion. You guys have to watch until the end, because I totally got screwed. So, I'll lead off with my Steelix, and he's going to lead off with a uh, Metagross. And I already knew that he was going to use Stealth Rock immediately, because that's, uh, that's a typical lead Metagross for you. So, uh, we both didn't really attack each other this turn, so, um, next... Next uh, turn, he's just going to go for the Earthquake straight up, but Felix has, has some really good defense, so he's just going to take that easily, and then I use Earthquake on my own, and I don't know how, but I did a little bit more than Felix, or I'm sorry, Metagross, but yeah, but anyway, um, he's just going to withdraw, and he's going to send in his Shaman, I don't even like Shaman. Like, look at that thing. It's, it's too cute to be a Pokemon. It's Pokemon's supposed to look ugly. I mean, that, that's, just, that's just too cute. But it can fight, which is the weird thing. But anyway, he's just going to use Seed Flare. And that's just going to kill me because Steelix has some really crappy special defense. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. I don't know what to do this turn, so I was actually thinking about sending in my eel, but I'm going to use it later. So anyway, I'm going to send in Zorark. And, uh, lucky for him, or no, I'm sorry, he switches out to a C-Tran. And he predicted my flamethrower. And so, here we go with the flash fire thing, as usual. Uh, choice Scar flash fire, heat ran. A typical heat train for you, so. So he's just, uh, I definitely predicted the fire blast, so that's why I stayed in. Uh, I didn't really have anything to kill this thing, so that's why I left it in. So anyway, um, I'm just going to send in my uh, Gyarados, because he's uh, trapped in fire blast. So, um, I, I'm going to predict that he's going to switch, and he does, so that I, since I predicted that, I'm just going to go for a Dragon Dance. But he's going to send in his Starmie, which probably has like Thunderbolt or something. But lucky for me, I Dragon Dance because I'm a lot faster than, uh, than uh, Starmie over here. So. Next turn, I don't know how I even killed this thing, to be honest. We were both talking about it. I used Earthquake, and it kills it. I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't get a crit either. But maybe it's because Life Orb and whatnot, so... Yeah, Gyarados is a complete monster, so he's just going to send in Heatran, and, um, since he's Scarf, I'm still faster, uh, so I'm just going to finish it off with an Earthquake, and, uh, I don't know what he was going to use, to be honest, what if he had, like, Hidden Power Thunder or something, maybe that would have killed me or something, who knows, like, literally, but anyway, uh, he's going to send in Shaman again, and so, um, I'm not going to use Earthquake. I have Earthquake and Waterfall, but then again, Outrage will do, actually do something. I was thinking about putting Stone Edge, Bounce, or Ice Fang on it, but I gave it Outrage instead. But since I'm locked in uh, Outrage, I think he has a Steel type, and I predicted right he does have a Steel type, so he's just going to send in this, this net lay thing with Bob, so I'm stuck. It's fucking outrage, so, and this thing has some high defenses, so, I get the lucky crit here, or not, it's not really lucky, but it's still a crit, so his, his steel thorns and my life was just going to kill me, so basically he's just going to stall me the whole entire time, he's just going to set up his spikes while I'm, uh, totally going to suicide myself, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm always looking for black and white battles, so if you really want to battle me, hook me up, uh, send me a message or comment or something, but anyway, uh, yeah, alright, back to the uh, narrator. I'm confused, and now he's just going to continue to set up his spikes, and, uh, so, yeah, uh, this was bogus, man, I, I really wish I didn't get hurt by, uh, confusion. But I only had 2 HP left, so I could have actually earthquaked this thing. It probably would have died, maybe. But, 
Moving along, I have no other choice but to send in my uh, tornado dude, Torgalus. I don't know. It's uh, it's actually an it's actually a flying type, like just flying. For people that don't know, but I go for a uh, hidden power fire, and that's gonna kill uh, Matlay. And uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I, I also have life on this thing, so I can do some extra damage. So he sends in uh, this ghost water thing. Um, I'm just gonna go for Dark Pulse since they can learn it. Um, it, it does a decent amount. I really wish it did more. But <laughs> lucky for me, I get the uh, flinch here. And so next turn, I'm just gonna go for the sludge bomb because I ju I want to just poison this thing, so I don't have to worry about it much. And lucky for me, I do get the poison and the crit. Which was really bogus in two in just one turn, so I kind of felt sorry for him. But he's just gonna go for the recover, which is a which is actually a pretty good move on his play. Um, if I dark pulse him, maybe it would have killed him, and I wouldn't have to worry about this thing anymore. Um, but anyway, I have to dark pulse him again. Oh, I'm sorry. Poison is gonna take control, and then dark pulse is just gonna take his toll again. Uh, lucky for him, he does not get the flinch, or I don't get the flinch, but, and it's still gonna kill him. He's just gonna finish me off with the boiling water, and, yeah, so I don't really know what to send out, so, oh wait, no, I survived, my fault. I'm sorry guys, um, I'm a little slow today. But, poison's just gonna get worse for him, I'm just gonna finish him off with an air slash, and then I kill myself, sorry. Yeah, I'm a little, oh! I don't know what, I don't know what Cursed Body does, um, I'm pretty sure you lose your, uh, power points or whatever, but, anyway, I'm dead, now I send in my eel, which, uh, which is actually very cool, in my opinion, because it doesn't have any weaknesses, um, but, at this point, there is a certain move that cost me the match, not this one, but the next one, you'll see, you'll see, trust me, but, I'm just gonna survive this sunhead, but I'm gonna use flamethrower, and this is where the berry comes in. The ochre berry completely, like, makes this metagross survive, which that cost me to match, and he's just gonna sunhead by me again, which I am not too happy about. Um, so now I'm stuck with this psychic thing, which is probably gonna, like, die. I don't know what, oh, it's called Uben, Ubermoo, my fault, Ubermoo, get the sidekick, and, uh, yeah, it doesn't have levitate, if it did, that'd be a lot better for me, but he's just gonna win the battle by using Meteor Mash, um, I was actually gonna go for, I was gonna go for the Thunderbolt and finish it off, but, anyway, it was a good game, uh, great game, dude, uh, thanks for the battle, I will be looking for more battles soon, alright, guys, peace. No, you won't, bad. <laughs> I turned off the speakers. Ha 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 ha. No matter what you say, I turn off the speakers. Ha 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 ha. Alright guys, thanks.